Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, obviously, as mentioned in the previous video, did hit here my target level at 17,500, just a little bit higher. But um, from here, theoretically, Bitcoin has now a chance to move up, but it is still too early to confirm that in any way. Um, but it's possible. Yeah, as you know, if you've been following my, my videos, my channel, you will know that I actually expect a reversal fairly soon. But and again, everybody always wants to know when it happens. I can't give you the exact time and how long that takes because we have two options now. So um, at the moment, yeah, we are Bitcoin fulfilled everything. Bitcoin fulfilled my long-term count, my medium-term count, and also here the the, the short-term Elliott Wave count. Means that it has honestly, it has now a really good chance to move to the upside. Yeah, it can do it can do it, but without having confirmation, without really turning around and seeing a trend reversal emerging, I can't confirm it's now done. Yeah, it can even go lower. And as long as we don't see a trend reversal, which would mean significant price action, in my opinion, at least above 21,334, I can't call the low in. Yeah, This is very important because even though um, the Elliott wave count has been completed and we can even here in the short term count five waves down, this could still evolve into something more extended. I don't know if this is going is if this is of course it's a five wave move but is this only the first wave of more downward pressure yeah and this is how we would then take it you know we are we are now driving on site all my scenarios have been fulfilled yeah perfect so i've been talking about these levels you know below 28.6k all the way down to 20 since november december now we dropped a little bit below 20 but that is not a problem it's all still covered in that current Elliott wave scenario mentioned before and also in the last few days especially that the next key Fibonacci retracement level is around $16,900 that is the 78.6% Fib level this will be significant support or it should at least be significant support for Bitcoin now um, it could be that this was already the absolute low of this correction and we are now going up but we cannot yet see a five wave move. This is what we need to see. We need to see a five wave Elliott wave wave count impulsive move to the upside to confirm that we will go up. Yeah, and even better, a three wave correction down, making a higher low, and that would then be a good entry point. Um, no financial advice, but typically that is what, what the best you can get. So at the moment we are driving on site. I don't know if this is already the reversal. As long as we are still below 21,334, I am still, my primary expectation is further down because we don't have a reversal signal yet. Irrespective of if we see here, whatever W pattern or something, this doesn't really mean a lot um, because you know we've, we've seen W patterns everywhere here. Yeah, so all of this patterns, you know, we need to wait for confirmation now one way to play this yeah one way to play this if you want to follow the chart closely one way to play this is of course you know when you have a swing low like here yeah maybe the next swing low when you see now a bullish divergence or no a bullish um, engulfing candle for example and you maybe even break resistance this would be here at very important resistance at 20,000 um yeah, 20,050 roughly. So it's a bit of a zone anyway. So the key level here would be, I think, 20,080, that swing low of the wave B. Um, if this is broken, I mean, that is a possible entry point. But then what I would do, I would certainly set a stop loss. And then in every swing low that goes higher, I would move the stop loss up. That is the best way of taking this, in my opinion, of doing this in such an early turnaround um, point. Now I am dollar cost averaging at the moment. I've got my buy order set on Discord. I think the lowest one around 17,500 or 17,800 triggered here um, yesterday. So I'm, you know, I have no reason to fool me when it goes up from here because I've I've sort sort of secured my position in Bitcoin um, already, and therefore I don't need to have any FOMO. But I know if I do it that way, that prices could still drop. So there's two ways of playing this: either setting a stop loss or not setting a stop loss, putting your Bitcoin onto a hardware wallet, 
But then you need to understand that price could still drop to 17,000, maybe even $10,000. This is all part of the game in crypto. And in my opinion, we are due a rally. Posted that on Twitter a couple of days ago. And in my opinion, that will be the biggest rally since the all-time high. What I don't know is if it will be an impulsive rally, which can even go to a new cycle top, or if it will just be a, a larger corrective rally up, maybe to 40, maybe to 50K before we come down once more quite strongly. Um, and therefore, in the current environment, I think stop loss important if you're doing trading. Um, and we need to we need to drive by side. That is what we have to do, drive on side. And um, at the moment, this looks very, very much three wave like at the moment, but it's really too early to say, because this could become either after this five wave move down, this might have been the, the first wave only. This might be the second wave, which means there will be a third wave down. This would be the bearish count. And in my opinion, this will be confirmed below 17,500 and yeah, yeah, 17,600 pretty much. Yeah, so it would look like something like that. A wave one, a wave two, a wave three, a wave four, a wave five. And that would be the wave count that could seriously bring us close to the 10K level, yeah? Um, but only if we go below that wave five low here that you can see here. And then there's still a chance to find support here at the $16,900 level. But when that gets broken, yes, I think this is going to play out. Now, the other way around would be that we can count this here now as a, a one, two. This might be another one, two. And then we should now see bullish bullishness and move higher from here. Should break in the next instance, the 20,000, um, what was it, 80 level or something, the resistance, and then also significant and strong price action above 21,331. Um, this is the next move that would need to happen. We would need to see another move up. If we don't see another move up, this is just a three wave move that would be followed very likely by a five wave move down. So at the moment, no reason to FOMO. If you feel FOMO, why don't you buy a position at the next swing low? That's up to you, but why not do that and set a stop loss? You know, th this is how to play this because at the moment we don't have, we, we are in a difficult situation. We are in a situation where we have completed for the first time really since I've been covering Bitcoin and Elliott Waves and since I've uh, started talking about this downtrend in December, it's the first time that we have completed the long-term count, the medium-term count, and here the short-term count, which doesn't mean that it guarantee, with guarantee is finished, but it means on every time frame we can count five waves. So there's a good chance for the market now to reverse back into an uptrend. But because I don't have a crystal ball, I cannot confirm that yet. Therefore, we need to observe the price structure very closely at the moment. And what I can tell you at the moment, this is still looking like a three wave structure. No confirmation that this is an uptrend already. Um, and also no confirmation that, yeah, we, you know, we are in a five wave move up already. This is still at the moment, nothing has changed. Um, we are in a possible turnaround space, but it's just not confirmed. And therefore, at the moment, the options are pretty much, in my opinion, quite equally, you know, bullish and bearish at the moment, because we have reached now finally that turnaround space we, where we have a potential opportunity to really end this correction. But if the market is unable to do it, then we will first go to 16,900, the 78.6% FIP level. And then if we go below it, then, I mean, then this is really bearish, actually. Because um, this would indicate that this is only a wave one, in my opinion, unless I find another count. A one, this will be a two, then a three down, a four up and a five down. Yeah. And if we count it like that, then I just do it roughly now, but that would mean that wave three should go somewhere to 15K. Yeah. And we have a wave four up. And that might end somewhere here around 13, 14K. Because you want the wave three to do the 1.618 extension, which would be around 15k. So all of this would still be covered by the current Elliott wave scenario of Bitcoin being in a larger wave two, because this can stretch out much, much lower. Um, and there we just get, and we have to be very honest, there we just get to the limits of what technical analysis can do. Yeah, it could forecast those price levels six to seven months ago, but it cannot tell you now when we are going to turn around. 
because we've reached everything we wanted to reach and everything we needed to reach and now it's up for the market to turn around or not to turn around if it doesn't we just continue to fall and we've identified the key support levels and anybody who wants to secure a position either do it dollar cost average and be aware without a stop loss that it there is still significant downside potential we don't have confirmation yet that we are going up um, or use a stop loss and follow the trade closely so that's my view about bitcoin hopefully you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content check out the channel membership and maybe even the trading course i'm currently offering on morecryptoonline.com thanks a lot for watching bye bye